what are we gonna do? We are going to go for to a restaurant tonight. We haven't quite decided which one yet, I don't think, but is that it really? Just having a chilled one now. It's gonna be had, grande. We've had such a grande day. Grande day. It's been so beautiful. Mademoiselle, we missed you. Amore, we missed you. We have a baguette that we got from the Bou La Boulangerie. We? Yesterday. 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 So and it's a bit crusty. Yeah, it's hard. I thought it was ruined. So we're teaching Zoe how to fix a baguette. Frenchy tips number one. All right, let's see how it's done. Okay, so what you have to do is you like sprinkle it a little bit with water and stick it in the oven for about three, five minutes. Yeah. So three to five minutes is not 30 So my hands are clean. <laughs> but my hands are clean, so you just kind of like Sprinkle it with water. Oh, that's a bit much. But it's fine. It's never too much, it's fine. It I fine. like them extra doughy. Never throw away a baguette. You can always fix it. Voila. Merci beaucoup. So this is a little bit like preheated. Oh, that looks a bit precarious. Okay, so this is our Parisian baguettes made again. We have some leftover pizza from breakfast. Yes, we had pizza for breakfast. We made it. <laughs> Cheryl made it. Merci beaucoup. Mm -hmm. And we have some olive and soup. And soup. <laughs> this is the after. Look at this, you guys. The steam is rising. Buonissimo. Brava. <laughs> Amore. Okay, so it's another beautiful morning in Petty. Today I'm gonna vlog a little bit more for you guys because we're actually having a meetup. Well, it's like Cheryl's meetup that I'm her special guest, her friend, <laughs> and I'm her plus one. <laughs> so that'll be fun, and for any of you who couldn't make it or you're not in Paris, then you'll somewhat get to attend. So we're off to have a wonderful day in Petty. It's not as sunny as it was yesterday, but it's still absolutely beautiful because it's Paris. I wouldn't say that, but this is Rue Montorgueil, which is a street. There's no chain restaurants allowed on the street at all. You've got a Starbucks just there, like just outside of the street, so they kind of don't, aren't breaking the rule. But yeah, we've got loads of um, independent shops, boulangerie, stuff like that. So it's a like, really nice place to go if you want to see some more like authentic cuisine. It's a really nice place to come. It's really easy to get to, just like nice to walk down, and it's cute. This is like real Parisian place to come, but also tourist. Perfect. Cold hands, red eyes, packed to bags at midnight. They've been there before we You don't know what goodbye means. Just roll out a cigarette. Alrighty, guys. We are at Cloud Cakes Vegan Bakery and Cheryl is here. What did you get, Cheryl? I got a cupcake with Oreos. Fantastic. And with you, and Sarah, what did you get for breakfast today? I got a whole grain croissant here. I think there's like quinoa on the top or something. It's really good. Yeah. I haven't had one of these in ages, so I'm it's, super excited. It's like a healthy croissant. Yeah, it's a healthy croissant. Amazing. Chocolate muffin. You can't forget about chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> bon appetit. Just forget about this mess Waiting on the sidelines From the sidelines I see those tears in your eyes And I feel so helpless inside No love, there's no need to hide <laughs> So many pigeons! They're so skanky. They're not skanky, Cheryl. <laughs> They're cute. Oh no. They just have no fear. No fear. How beautiful is today. So sunny. 
fully manifested again. Hey Cheryl, yeah. I told I'm her I said, impressed. not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> in beautiful Pariji. No love, there's no need to hide. Just let me love you when your heart is tired. And if your ghost pulls you apart. And it feels like you lost who you are. All right guys, so it's déjeuner in Paris. <laughs> and we are at this amazing vegan falafel paste that Matthias and Sarah picked out for lunch. And we're gonna grab a bite. I put, it, put everything on it. <laughs> it's cool that you can like make it yourself, yeah. right? Yeah, and you get to, you know, fill up Woo! what you need. Pepperoncino. <laughs> So we've just stumbled upon an amazing vegan grocery store cafe and I've got some vanilla white chocolate, which I don't think I've had, besides this morning, I had that white chocolate cupcake. The reason why I got it was because since being vegan, I don't think I've had white chocolate yet. And I also found this classic vegan, so this is eye chalk. So I'll let you guys know how it is. And I'm also getting a new lip balm because I seem to have lost my other one. Hopefully it will keep these babies soft. <laughs> So yeah, super cool store. They have cheese and like look around, there's so much. So I'll be sure to leave a link to it down below because I think it's kind of a little bit of a vegan gold mine here. They could, they say, can't hide the secrets, you can't forget about this mess. I'm waiting. So we've officially arrived at Cheryl's meetup, and as you can see, the views are absolutely stunning. So this is Le Peshois, close to we're so we're close to Republic and Bastille. Oui. Exact. <laughs> Exactement. I'm just blown away. This is such a stunning view. And if you watched the last Paris travel diary I did when I came to visit Cheryl in fall, so I'll link that one below. We went to a different Peshwa, and I'm not sure which one's my favorite. I kind of think maybe this one, but we'll see how the night goes. People should start turning up in the next 20 minutes, I'd say. So excited to meet some of you guys. Look at all these adorable rooftops. They remind me of some type of Peter Pan or something. All those little, little rooftops and Sacroque. Cheryl, this is such a cute setup. Hold me close and hold me fast. This magic spell you cast. This is love, y'all. <laughs> when you kiss me, heaven sighs. And though I close my eyes. All right, Cheryl, so we have a good turn up. Good turn up here in your meetup. Yeah. We've got, we've got 14 people. And it's honestly, this is such a beautiful place. You saw those views, those views were everything. See the Sacrica? I don't know, I'm more impressed by this view than the last one. Really? Yeah. But the last one was so special that like, I'm like, oh, what's the next one gonna be like? Just go to the mall. Yeah, we're gonna go to all of them. Every time we come back to Paris now, we go to a new one. We're gonna go to a new one until we hit five. Yeah. And then Cheryl will move to Rome. <laughs> Bonjour, mes amis. So we are all done the meetup and we're off to grab some food because we're absolutely starving now and we're at Tian Hang. So again. again, so if you had watched previously my travel diary from Paris and fall, we visited here. It was delicious. So of course I'll show you what we're getting to eat. And then we're gonna call it an evening. Would you say you had fun at the meetup? Yeah, yeah. it was a really good meetup. Maybe my favorite so far. Yeah. The venue was good, the crowd, everyone was really nice. Yeah. Everyone was fantastic. Anyone watching who was there, it was so great to meet you. And I can't wait to be back in Teddy. Shrimp dumplings, pretty good.
Bonjour, friends! So today is my last day in Petty. We're just about to enjoy an amazing, amazing breakfast. We picked these vegan croissants up from La Boulangerie. And Cheryl, how do you, how would you ask if they're vegan? Um, so you've got a croissant beurre, which is butter croissant, or you've got croissant ordinaire, and you can ask, does it have butter or egg wash on the top, and if not, then they're vegan. Perfecto. So how delicious does this look? I don't know, will they be better than the Italian cornetto? I'll be the judge. <laughs> and Cheryl made these amazing cappuccinos for us with vegan chocolate sugar on top. Yeah, yeah. And so today we're just hanging out. We've started to film Cheryl's apartment tour. So I'll be sure to link that down below if you guys are curious what her adorable Parisian apartment looks like. It's definitely Paris goals. <laughs> we're going to have breakfast now and then Sarah and Matias are coming over. I think we're going to film a little bit and then I'm off to the airport. It's been an amazing trip and thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and if you're curious or if you haven't seen I have a couple other Paris travel diaries I'll be linking down there too. Au revoir! Every single day and every word you say